Okay, Will Hurst on objective journalism. Yeah, I'm one of those few remaining people that thinks objective journalism really does exist, that uh, there are facts in this world, and those are different than opinions. So there are facts like how my name is spelled, how old a person is, how big a crowd is at a demonstration, and those are facts, and then there's other things that are called opinions, and they're different. I'm not saying that only old media can do objective journalism, because sometimes journalism, journalism is objectified by other people correct your mistakes and errors, the way you see people do that on YouTube and finding errors on blogs. So I'm in favor of objective journalism. I think it exists, and it's valuable. There's a lot of opinion out there, and there's far too little object objective journalism. And even if you can't be 100% objective all the time, there aren't enough people out there trying to be. I think that really the next phase of internet content is to have somebody start standing up for objectivity and giving a varnish to straightforward, honest view of what's going on. I've always felt that, uh, that there really is and should be a place for credible, fair journalism. Uh, I know that uh, it's fashionable now to say that everything is point of view and opinion, and that because everybody has an opinion, there's no such thing as objective journalism. But I actually feel that uh, striving to be objective and fair uh, is still valuable. And I think the way to uh, address the fact that people might have uh, agendas or backgrounds or points of view that influence their reporting is just to be more aggressive about disclosure. So if you're more open in saying um, what in your background might affect your opinion, uh, then let the user, the listener, the viewer judge for him or herself uh, the accuracy of what you're saying. But uh, I would hate to see a world where um, everything's an op-ed page uh, and there's nobody just trying to do good old-fashioned reporting. I Everyone has an opinion. If any don't have an opinion, it's ridiculous. So the former editor of the Washington Post uh, didn't vote because he thought that he wasn't really supposed to have an, an opinion and a compromise to him. So I think there's that higher calling disease notion of objectivity, which is some concoction that's, that's developed over the last number of decades. You know, people have opinions, they have perspective, and one of the things that creates expertise is your perspective. So I think there's, you know, there are there is a distinction between total subjectivity, which is opinion, and context that jury you can provide because you have experience and you can speak with some authority based on that experience. And I think journalists shy away from speaking with the authority that they ought to speak with and that, that creates their value, that differentiates them. And so I, I think the whole notion of objectivity ought to be thrown out and the definitions ought to be changed. It's like obscenity. You'll, you'll know it when you see it, and you rarely do. <laughs> um, you know, cer certainly the, the market seems to want gossip and highly opinionated news, and that's fun to cut through the clutter, but at the end of the day, none of that would, would exist without objective journalism, and it's tougher and tougher to do in this market, um, and I take my hat off to those enterprises that are executing on it.